and they are not all the time seen with him, but only by Iman al ghaib They have faith in ghaib in unseen, to follow and to love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because Allah loves Rasulullah, and Allah says, anyone who loves me, he must love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and follow Rasulullah. Then he will love me, then he will find me, and when he will find me, he will find me the most merciful, the most forgivable one, the most lovable one, to be loved and to love that one who is coming and approaching to me from my door, and my door is Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And for this, now we are meeting not for any business, not for any thing of this dunya, we are meeting for the love of Allah Almighty. We are meeting for the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are meeting for the love of Awliya Allah. And for this, our meeting, it is not as a meeting of ordinary one, but it is, it would be blessed by divinely God the attributes from Allah Almighty and from divinely attributes of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and awliya one by one passed away awliya now a day awliya coming awliya all day every one of them will dress a gift to everyone sitting in this meeting and then sahib al-zaman sayyidina muhammad al-mahdi alayhi salam will dress also everyone by a gift from him and for this our meeting is a connected meeting not an unconnected one. It is a meeting which is connected from one alive one to another alive one to the one who gives life for everyone. To Allah Almighty. We are not sitting in a meeting which is depending on books or depending on one whom they are well educated or university professors but we are their wish and we have their wish knowledge and our knowledge is awliya knowledge coming from the station of Maulana Grand Sheikh all Grand Sheikh from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from Allah Almighty whatever Allah Almighty Standing to Rasulullah and Rasulullah standing to all Grand Sheikh and to Maulana Sheikh and what Maulana standing to our heart and like this we are connected like a chain from one halakha ring 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 to another until we are well connected with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Rasulullah connecting us with Allah Almighty. And for this, the one who is connected with Allah Almighty, with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and with Awliya, they will take all burdens from him. They will take all suffering from him. They will take all sadness from him. They will take all sins from him and erase it. And Rasulullah will make shaka so that Allah Almighty will forgive us and mercy us by his divine devotion of mercy and forgiveness. Like this our meeting, like this the Awliya meeting, the meeting of Maulana Shaykh Nadi. It's not meeting to give you knowledge. Everyone, especially educated ones, they are full with knowledge of books. And they are reading about all Awliya, they are reading about all Sufi people from time of Adam to now a day. How many? Two to one coming, they came, still coming, how many awliya, all of you are reading. And everyone is known, is known, knowing everything about all this knowledge. But these are things which is only you are getting benefits or reading from books. But now these meetings you are practicing this knowledge. 
You are making for them to be driving, walking in this line with the Aliyah while walking in it and they reach to rest by this knowledge which they wrote it in the book. You read about it only, but never practicing it. Because to practice it, you need a guidance to guide you in the ways of Allah Almighty, in the ways of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in the ways of Awliya. And this only Sultan of our Awliya, Allah Shaykh Nasir, he is the one who can guide everyone in these ways and to make all this knowledge for them to be not only knowledge, but to be something which you can feel it, something which you can dress it, something which can be light in your heart and your face and your body, something which makes you to be connected. How much you read in books, never the books will make you to be connected with Allah Almighty. Never the books will make you to be connected with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Only a real, well-connected Aulia, Sultan of Aulia, can make you to be connected. He can take by your hand and make you to reach to your destination, to your faith, to where you want to reach. And everyone, he wants to reach to Allah Almighty and to Rasulullah. Either by choosing or by force obligatory. By choosing, we are choosing to reach to Allah Almighty, then Allah will welcome us, most welcome my servant, and we will be awliya to Allah Almighty, friends to Allah Almighty. But the one who doesn't like to, is not choosing, then Allah Almighty policy, sending death over him, obligatory making him to come again to Allah Almighty. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon We are to Allah Almighty and to Allah Almighty we are returning Honestly, if you are not choosing to return to Allah Almighty Allah is going to force his sake But the difference that the one who chooses in his life to reach to Allah Almighty Allah will welcome him and he will see the face of Allah Almighty The light of the holy face of Allah Almighty will shine on him he will see Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He will see Sahaba. He will see all the prophets. He will see all the divine, the godly world of Allah Almighty. But the one who is falsely taken, he will see nothing. He will return to Allah Almighty, but never Allah will let him to see his holy face. Never he will see this divine, the godly world of Allah Almighty. He will be prisoned to Yawm al he will be in prison to Yawm al Qiyamah until Yawm al Qiyamah. And in Yawm al Qiyamah, he is going to bite his finger. Sorry. And ashamed from Allah Almighty. What he did in this life that made him to be far away from Allah Almighty, he is going to bite his finger, even to eat his finger. And then he will be ashamed to meet Allah Almighty. He will say all the others, open and swallow me, like this, but finish. Then everyone is going to be either in front to Allah Almighty or to be questioned. The one whom they are friends, awliya to Allah Almighty, no questioning for them. Allah will not question them. And Allah will not also question all the ones whom they are following them. Even if you are a friend for an awliya who is in a shrine in Maqam, and you are choosing to reach to Allah Almighty through him, and you are so connected and visiting him and taking barakah of him, you will be then also Yawm al Qiyamah, following him, and you will not be questioned, he will make shafa'ah for you. But the ones whom they are run away from Awliya, the ones whom they are run away from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 
The one who runs away from Allah Almighty, they are under the danger of questioning. Because to be questioned is very difficult. Day, the day of questioning. If Allah Almighty is, if he wants to question, no one can be saved. Because all our worshipping and deeds will not make us to be saved. What will make us to be saved? The love of Allah Almighty. The love of Rasulullah. To choose in your life to be an awliya, to be a friend to Allah Almighty. To choose that to be in the line of Rasulullah, line of awliya, to reach to Allah Almighty. Even you didn't reach, even you didn't reach in your life, but you are trying your best. Just you are passing away, Allah Almighty will interfere. And will send Rasulullah sallallahu wa sallam, and will send awliya, and the awliya who is responsible on you to change you quickly before you are uh, giving your last degree, you will be totally completed, perfected, finished and dressed to be by the light of Elijah from Allah Almighty and you will pass away from this life of Iman and as an awliya to Allah Almighty. And you will be with prophets, with Siddiq, Ulaika ma'al ladina an'am Allahu alayhim min al nabiyyin wa al-Siddiqin wa al-Shuhadai wa al-Salihin. You will be with the, the Siddiq as the prophets, with awliya, because you choose them in this life. But the one who is not choosing, he wants to run away, then he is going to be sorry and eating his fingers and ashamed from Allah Almighty. Yawm al even he is so wealthy and so rich, even he is building all this dunya. But no benefit. Because Allah Almighty sending us to this dunya to build our akhirah, to build our paradises. Whatever you do here, according to what you are doing, Allah will build for you your paradises. How much you have good deeds, how much you are worshipping, how much you are practicing. By love to Allah Almighty, I think that you are doing something good, but oh Allah Almighty, I am a weak servant to you, accept me. Allah will build palaces for you and make gardens for you in Jannah. And the one who is running away from Allah Almighty, he is building all this earth. And he is not doing anything for Allah Almighty or choosing, choosing the way of Allah Almighty. Allah will build for him. Allah will build for him valleys of fire in Jahannam. He will build for him hell. He will build for him valleys of Jahannam. He will build for him all in Jahannam so that he will be burned in it to clean him and purify him. While the one who chooses Allah Almighty, Allah will build for him palaces and gardens to be in neighborhood to Allah Almighty. And now we are starting the last 10 days of month of Ramadan. We are in the very holy days of all the years where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he used to make the conclusion or atikaf in these days, 10 days. In every year Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he used with the one of the Sahaba whom they choose to be with Rasulullah as all the Sahaba used to choose they will be with Rasulullah for 10 days, day and night, keeping themselves in seclusion, in Atikaf. And Rasulullah sallallahu calls it Atikaf, but really it is a seclusion, a khalwa, a seclusion where Rasulullah sallallahu was completing in it his Sahaba and completing in it on behalf of all his nation, on behalf of all his Ummah, to Yawm al he is covering their burdens and tolerating from them. So that all of them would be saved. So that Allah Almighty will not make them to be ashamed of al Qiyama in between the prophets that one of his ummah, one of his nation, shaitan 
was stealing from him and taking from him. But Shaitan is going to see that that all the nation of Rasulullah, all the Ummah of Rasulullah, they are they would be covered by the light who is coming from the eyes of Rasulullah. From the eyes and the heart of Rasulullah, light of prophecy will be circling, making a circle, covering all his ummah, even they are billion. They will be all covered by his light and all of them under his shafa'a they will be saved. And Shaitan then he will be ashamed and sorry that he was not able to take one of them. And Allah Almighty will make the face of Rasulullah to be white in front of all the prophets that he is the one on between all the prophets that he didn't make any dua, prayer to Allah Almighty that his ummah to be punished, but he is the one who made the dua to Allah Almighty and prayer that Allah to give him power and life to govern all his ummah and all his ummah to be saved and entering to Jannah. And so all the prophets, they would be then also shying from Rasulullah and ashamed in between the hands of Allah Almighty, Allah giving them such power and life, but instead to use it to cover their ummah, they only cover some believers and then they pray Allah Almighty finish the other. And Allah used for their faith to finish the other of their nation by punishment, eliminating them. And then Allah Almighty is calling every prophet. Even he is this prophet or highest kind of prophet like Sayyidina Nuh, Sayyidina Ibrahim. They were being scolded from Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty is calling them and also teaching them don't pray or make dua, such a dua that for me to eliminate and to punish children of Adam alayhi salam, even they are non-believers, I give you so powerful life of prophecy to cover all of them. Why you didn't use this life to cover them and to convert them to Iman? Why you left them in uh, non-believers? And for this Allah Almighty was punishing the son of Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam, punishing Sayyidina Nuh. And Sayyidina Nuh was so sad that Allah Almighty making his son to be taken by the flood, sinking in the water, followed by the wave of the water, and Allah Almighty saying, telling him, for one son, for one boy, you are so sad and unhappy, how about me, Allah Almighty? when I am finishing all my people for your sake. Then Allah Almighty is calling Sayyidina Ibrahim also when he made dua for his people, Allah to finish them, and Allah finish them for Sayyidina Ibrahim. He told him, O Ibrahim, go and slaughter your son Ismail. And then when he was slaughtering his son Ismail, then his heart was burning and smoke coming from his mouth with smell of the river as a barbecue. So Allah Almighty was telling him, calling him, for your son, for one son like this, how about me, Allah Almighty, the most merciful, when I was finishing for you, all my people, all children of Adam alayhi salam in your time. What happened to me? And I am the one created them. So don't, Repeat it another time, Ibrahim. If you repeat it, I will kick you out of prophet. And then Allah Almighty, that's in Sayyidina Ibrahim, standing for him much more, much more worse people than, they are, than the ones whom they were eliminated and finished by Allah Almighty punished. Allah sent another people to Sayyidina Ibrahim, and Sayyidina Ibrahim was. Uh, telling them about Islam, Iman, and to come to Allah Almighty. But most of them, they were refusing. They want to worship statues. And they were worshiping the idols. And then, Sayyidina Ibrahim, what he said, then he was 
He returned to us, Allah Almighty, to finish them. He told them, Oh Allah Almighty, they make so badly and they are worshipping falsehood. And I make my best to call them for Islam, for Iman. So the one who obey me, save him and bless him. And the one whom they didn't obey me and still worshipping statues, I am referring them to you. You are the most forgivable one. You can do whatever you want. No more telling him, finish them or punish them. And I said, Allah Almighty, like from everyone of the children of Adam alayhi salam to be in brotherhood or sisterhood with all children of Adam, with each other, to be all of us loving each other, all of us to be in one heart. Even some they are women believers, some they are non believers, you have nothing to question them, but you must keep in brotherhood with everyone and keep remembering Allah Almighty, keep Allah Almighty with you, keep Rasulullah with you, keep Awliya Allah with you, and don't care for the other. And Allah Almighty saying, Ya ayyuha tadina amanu, la yadullukum man dalla idha tadaykum. O moment, O believers, no harm will come to you from anyone who is non believer if you reach to guidance and you are well guided and well dressed by Iman, no one can harm you. Don't interfere with the others. You have nothing to do with them. Keep respect to them. I will question them. Save yourself and don't care for the others. Until you will be an awliya, until you will be dressed by light of awliya, then Allah will appoint you to bring all these people, to gather them, to bring them to Iman and to bring them to Allah Almighty. But if you didn't reach yet that maqam, you have nothing to do with the other. Even you have nothing to advise them. Look at yourself and finish. And for this Mawlana Shaykh Nazim Sultan of Awliya teaching us everyone always to look and behave the one who is under his servant, under his cat. Who is under the servant? Yourself. You have nothing to do with the other. Look at yourself. Behave yourself. Complete yourself, then if Allah Almighty appointed you to behave others, go and behave them. Not appointed, you have nothing to do with any. This kind of this teaching is how to behave in the Nakshubandi way. This is one sign of the tongues of the Nakshubandi way. And there is another tongue of Nakshubandi way. And this sun is behind, around the sun, the second sun is the sun of the divine, the God, the ocean, divine, the ocean of knowledge, divine, the ocean of wisdom, divine, the ocean of peace, which Allah Almighty did not open for all the prophets, for all whom they come before Rasulullah. And for even most of the Sahara and all the most of the Ummah of Rasulullah, Allah didn't open it. Only Allah Almighty opened it and endorsed it in the reality of Rasulullah Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Rasulullah gave it to Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq and to Sayyidina Ali. And the them to special ones of the Sahara, some of the Sahara. And then all this knowledge, all this divine godly knowledge, was given to the successor of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq and the successor of Sayyidina Ali. Till now a day, coming from the time of Rasulullah till now a day, and now the successor is Sultan of Awliya and Nana Shaykh Nazim Allah Ta'ala and Nana Shaykh And he dressed us by the station of the two towns. The towns, how to behave and how to practice the Nakshubandi way and also by the sound of the divine dictation of wisdom and secrets and divine knowledge from the ocean 
which Allah Almighty opening on Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But every meeting it has its own time. What in need we ask, Maulana will offer this station according to what you people whom they are in this meeting, what they need, it will be offered for them. If the one here need from the mighty God the world, from the divine the world of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa if they want from Al-Mullahunni divine the knowledge and wisdom and secrets, they will offer this station if their heart is ready for it. If not, they will offer them from the tongue and the station of the behaving and the practicing and how to be <coughs> walking and driving in the line of Sufism to reach them to be blessed by light of Hidayah, blessed by light of blessing and good tidings from Allah Almighty and Rasulullah and Awliya and to look at us. May Allah Almighty grant us and forgive us and bless us by blessing and forgiveness and good tidings, especially in this month of month of Ramadan, perhaps will be who knows, perhaps will be the last month of Ramadan before the appearance of Sayyidina al Mahdi and last month Allah will be of Ramadan will be with Sahib al Zaman Sayyidina Because Allah He wants something, He will say be and it will be. And so we hope all Awliya and Mawlana say they are hoping next month of Ramadan to be with Sahib Al-Zaman Sayyidina Mahdi Allah, 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 Allah,